Hello everybody. Uh, so I want to use this opportunity uh, to introduce um, our second app, a recently developed uh, application for painters. So uh, this app is called uh, the Painter's Guide. And uh, so I want to, uh, uh, you know, give you a little introduction about how to use it. And this app is basically the kind of similar function, uh, like I introduced my previous app called a Color Picker, and helps painters to manage color correctly. And after that uh, app get uh, published, and I got a comments and um, lots of friends want me to adding uh, the function of uh, filtering function to help a painter to see the image information better. So uh, basically the painter's, um, the, uh, painter's guide app is combination of the filtering function and the color picking function together. So let's just go through that together. It's pretty straightforward. And at this moment, the app is uh, located on my website. So you uh, uh, log in to, uh, actually you get on your web browser and go to my website. My website is www.qh-art.com. Okay, now you'll see this image uh, right in, um, on, on my computer screen. Then you go to the, uh, the top, there's a so, so many topics here. So you click on the apps uh, tab, okay? So you click on that, so then there's, you see a whole bunch of apps here, okay? Then um, you pick up the very last one, Painter's Guide, okay? Okay, now you'll see the painter's guide. Um, okay, my computer is a little slow today. Okay, now you can slide it down uh, up to the uh, app area. So you can see a color wheel and there is a, a value bar. Okay, first thing you load your reference image. Okay, you click on load image button on the upper left corner. You click on that. So that will allow you to select on your computer to browse whatever image is there. Okay, I'm gonna use the same image I used uh, before at the plein air live event, so which is a, a California scene, okay? Um, so, okay, after the image lo uh, is loaded, you can change the size of this image, okay? So you can, uh, you can enlarge the size if you think the, uh, the, the window is a little too small. You go to this button, you click on that, so the, uh, uh, the image size will change. But if you're going too much, then you will see the color will disappear. Okay, so it means you reach to whatever the utmost size of the image you want. Okay, so after that, I do get comment from some artists that said, well, they load the image and then find out the image is upside down. Okay, the reason causing that problem is sometimes we're using cell phones, using a smartphone, taking pictures. We didn't pay attention on the orientation of the phone. Okay, so that can causing that problem. But if you find out your image is upside down or you know, writes uh, a different uh, orientation. I put the uh, rotation button here. So, okay, so you can rotate the image, click on once, the uh, image will rotate in 90 degrees. So if you want to, you know, um, you click twice, usually they flip upside down. Okay, so I'm going to click third time, click the fourth time, so they're coming back. Okay, so another function is zoom in and zoom out. If you want to see uh, part of the uh, image in detail, so you can just, you know, click on zoom in button. So it will get in more details. Okay, so if you want to specifically, after you enlarge, you can, you can click on the one point, then you grab, then you then you can move this then specifically 
to the location you want. Okay, and also you can zoom out. Okay, like that. Okay, so there's a, actually there's a, uh, another function. Yeah, you keep, similar like iPad or or uh, any kind of a tablet. You can uh, use two fingers. Okay, so um, uh, if you have a touch screen computer, you can just uh, use that as an iPad. But if you have a regular laptop computer in the mouse area, you use two fingers, and then you move up and down. You can zoom the image in and out like that. Okay, but if you do not have that mouse pad or you have a very uh, you know regular mouse uh, if you use a pc you can there's a little middle wheel you can uh, uh, rotate that little wheel to do the same function but if you do not have that function you can just use the button zoom in and zoom out okay so i can do that okay so um, then okay now it's the new function of this app it is the filters okay so let me uh, actually you can fit in the canvas there's another button you can just like, get original image there okay then you click on filter there are two filters here one is called a grayscale which will help you to turn the image black and white if you click on that the image will turn black and white okay so uh, if you want to go back to normal or undo the uh, black and white filter you click down here clear a uh, clear filter okay so that will go back to original and also this oilified filter helps you to change uh, basically they blur the image and to make the uh, shape of the colors much more simplified so if you click on that you will find all uh, lots of detail will disappear Okay, uh, for the oilify filter, uh, it is, will help you to simplify the image. You know, we all know uh, when we are uh, seeing a complicated scene, we need to squint to simplify. So this filter will help you to do that. So um, then if you, uh, so first thing you just click on oilify, then Okay, so now you see the uh, the image change. It's, it's already look like oil painting, so it means the, all the uh, details is already filtered out. So if you think, okay, I want to filter the scene even more, you click the uh, oilify twice. Okay, so now you see the uh, image getting even more simplified okay so if you want to go back to normal you'll go to clear the filter okay so you clear the filter back to normal okay so uh, now let's talk about the color picking function uh, color picking function is like you uh, help you to single out the color you're interested in okay you just move your mouse or your cursor in any place color you're interested in. I'm interested in this uh, blue color here. So I click on that. So that will show, show you there's an enlarged color swatch here of the same color you pick it from the image. And also there's uh, on the other side, there's the grayscale, which is the value of that color. So you see the three images, uh, three values here. Okay, uh, this is the, the three uh, numbers here. So one is the hue, second one is the saturation or chroma, and the third one is the value for that color. Uh, then it's also demonstrated uh, on the color wheel and also on the value bar. So if you really want to know the detail of the, uh, where the, this number is coming from and how this color wheel and uh, value bar are arranged, please take my course, uh, online course about color theory. So that will help you to understand more color. Anyway, so that's the basic function of the uh, Painter's Guide app. I hope this tool 
will be useful for you and make your painting process much more simplified and then you will find out you can get your color more uh, accurately and also you'll be able to simplify to help your drawing and help you to make a large shape much better and your painting will improve. Thank you for watching. Happy painting.